if you hate the sound of your alarm clock as it prevents you from entering the fourth hour of your sleep and reminding you of all the annoying obligations and duties you have to fulfill today you're not the only one in fact I used to hate mornings too if I had to wake up before noon I wished I was dead however that's all in the past now and these days I love waking up early and I'm actually looking forward to it that's why I'm going to show you my exact step-by-step -step formula on waking up early. So let's dive right in. First off, I want you to go to the comment section below and type when do you generally wake up and when would you like to wake up. This is not to judge you or anything. There are two reasons for this. First off, I want to show you that there are many people out there who also struggle with waking up in the morning. And the second reason is that I'm going to remind you a week later and ask you to tell me how did it go. Did you manage to wake up earlier with the methods you used from this video? Waking up early begins with the night before. Preparation is key. There are many tricks out there such as leaving your phone in the other room so you have to stand up to shut down your alarm or leave your blinds open so the sunlight wakes you up. But none of these will really help you love waking up in the morning there is even an app that helps you get up early in the morning but i'm going to get to it in a minute but first i want you to love waking up in the morning the first thing i want you to work on is your why why do you want to wake up in the morning and i don't mean the i have to go to school i have to go to work or something else your why shouldn't be those things you don't want your why to be an obligation or something you're not looking forward to. If you hate waking up in the morning, you're gonna hate it even more if you have to wake up to something you're not looking forward to or something you don't want to do. That's why you want to write out a list of things you'd like to get started on and do them in the morning, such as starting to learn a new language, getting started on a new hobby, reading a new book, and so on. Before we continue, it's a bit cold outside, so I'm gonna go and grab a jacket. You need to make a morning schedule, and you might be thinking to yourself, why would I need a morning schedule? I'm just gonna do whatever the hell I want. Making a schedule really hones in on why you woke up in the morning. It really helps you get to the things that you actually woke up for, so you don't end up staring at the wall for two hours wondering why did I wake up so early? Also, you don't want to set up 500 alarms. Just knowing that you have another alarm coming up in a couple of minutes makes it that much more likely for you to get back in bed. As I mentioned earlier, there are apps that can help you wake up early. And the one I use the most is Alarmy. Alarmy is an alarm clock that makes you do stuff before you can shut down the alarm, such as taking pictures, shaking the phones, doing math problems and so on. My favorite one is doing math problems, but it really depends on you. I will leave the link to Alarmy in the description below. It's also really good to use nightlight at later hours to change any white or blue light into yellow light. There are many studies that show that white and blue light mess up with your circadian rhythm, making it even harder for you to fall asleep. Be honest with yourself, how many times did you end up scrolling social media until like 3 in the morning? If you want to step this up a notch, I'll recommend turning off your internet so that there is even less temptation. Next step is to use sleep cycles to your advantage. I won't go into too much detail on sleep cycles in this video, but do know, if you wake up in the middle of a sleep cycle, that is if you wake up in the middle of a REM sleep, it will be much harder for you to get up because your body will still be in sleepy mode. In order to help you with this, I'm going to give you a tool which can help you determine when you should go to sleep in order to wake up at your desired time without breaking your sleep cycle. The tool is called sleepd.me. It's a website and you can check it out by clicking the link in the description below. So now you hear your alarm clock. You solve the math question, you get up but you're still tired. This is pretty normal at first. That's why I recommend doing some energizers in the morning. After I make my bed, I tend to take a shower. 
Even though cold showers are proven to increase your willpower, I personally like to take warm ones. It's just a matter of preference. If you're still feeling pretty tired and snoozy, I would recommend doing some exercises such as jumping jacks or push-ups to really get your blood flowing. And once I'm fully awake, I start working on my why. If you don't like cooking in the morning, I would advise preparing the food the night before. When I'm done with my why, I'm ready to head out and face my obligations. And the last step to waking up early is doing it every day. You want to make it a habit and sooner or later you're actually gonna wake up before the alarm clock. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, share it with your friends and be sure to subscribe. And until the next time, smile away heroes. And one last thing, since it's one of my friend's birthday today, I'd like to take these last couple of seconds to wish her a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Andriana.